Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Boomi Guitarker and I'm, I'm a first year computer science major here at the Georgia Institute of Technology. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down every single class that I took in my first semester here at Tech. To be a full-time student here at Tech, you need to take anywhere between 12 to 21 credit hours. As recommended, I took a really light course load in my first semester just so that I had enough time to get adjusted to college and have enough time to be active in organizations, make new friends, meet new people, try different different things. I took 13 credit hours. All right, so diving straight in, my first ever class at Georgia Tech was freshman leap seminar. Every CS major is required to take this class and it's a one credit hour class. This is a class that kind of introduces freshmen into the world of college and this includes career fairs, creating your resume, being able to give presentations, information on the threads that Georgia Tech has. It teaches you things like networking and very much the soft skills I get. It introduces you to everything you should be aware of as a college student. A very simple class, this is a pass or fail class, so you either pass it or you fail it. This class was attendance and project based. As long as you went to class and you completed your assignments, you pass if you don't go, and if you don't do your homework, you fail. I guess. This class is nearly impossible to fail. All right, next class that I took was CS 1332. This is data structures and algorithms. Since I'm an in-state student, I did a lot of dual enrollment in high school and I dual enrolled 1301 and 1331 at Georgia Tech when I was a junior and senior in high school. And so that's why when I came to tech, I was able to skip ahead and take 1332. 1332 is a very important class in terms of interviewing. It teaches you all the data structures and algorithms that is really important for interviews and leak code. So it's a really important class to do well in. Since this was my first ever CS class in college, I didn't really know how to prepare for it, how the exams were gonna go, how to use the homework to study for your exams. And so on the exams, I didn't do too well. And so I was kind of in an iffy situation where I was I was really struggling to pass the class and I was not sure if I would and so the entire finals week, I kid you not, I stayed up until 6 a.m., 7 a.m. every single day, and I learned that course like no other. And then I took the final exam and I passed it and I passed the class and I was so, so, so proud of myself. Now I know data structures and algorithms fairly well, especially like the diagramming. So in this class, there's a lot of diagramming, especially with every single data structure. You've got to know how to diagram graphs. And so I think um, at the end of the class, I really enjoyed that part of it. I struggled with the written coding part and I know I'm not the only one. I guess, I guess as long as you know the information, you're good, right? I don't know what to say about that one. My class was hybrid. I had Mary Hudacek but we just call her HB. My class was hybrid based. It was two classes. One was in person and one was online. So basically the online class, we had to learn everything by ourselves. And then in person, she would just do a slight review. I did not like this format at all. If you're someone that needs it to be like in front of you and written down and explained thoroughly, like so, don't recommend hybrid at all. The other professor, Professor Faulkner, he had lectures three days a week in person and I sometimes went to those classes and I, I liked his way of teaching so, so, so much better. His class was also in the afternoon, so he had a lot of energy in his class and mine was at 8 a.m. in the morning, so half the time I just could not make it as hard as I tried. So I think that's why I struggled a little bit because I had to self-teach kind of all of it to myself, but really interesting class, really important class. You should you should really like take your time with that one. How this class was graded, you had three exams and then one final exam. You had to average a total of a 70 to pass the class. And then everything else is homework based. So you have one homework assignment every week and it's, it's a very long, um, coding assignment that you have to do and then there's this one very helpful tool It's called CS Viz tool that helped with the homework the exam studying everything that was like my holy Grail. I think your biggest takeaway from this is to be successful in this class You really have to know how to visualize everything visualizing it will help you code it my next class was English 1102 with Brianna Anderson. And boy, when I tell you, this was my favorite class ever. I have just enjoyed this class so much. I think the biggest reason, is, and I do not like English, trust me. And in high school, it was so like, reading based, writing based. But here at Tech, since it's a STEM school, it was so STEM oriented. And you could just tell it was not like any other class that I've taken. It was so performance based. Class was 100% participation based. You were 
answering questions, group discussions, discussing within small groups, and then answering with the whole class. There were so many different projects we were put in. There were multiple projects that I enjoyed. There was one where we had a... So actually, let me backtrack. Every English class, or I think, most English classes, I'm not going to say every, but most English classes have a theme that they kind of are based around. Mine was true crime. Originally, I was a little bit iffy on this because I scary things. And so in class, there was a lot of times we would watch some really scary content and I had to close my eyes a couple of times. I think for the most part, I really enjoyed the way this class was structured and what we did and what we learned. Starting our very first project that we ever did was a video project that we did and right off the bat I was like, oh my god, this is my time to shine. We created a presentation about a true crime artifact, so we chose Serial, which is one of my favorite podcasts. It was also really creative. We got to create the scene and even create a podcast with a group that we didn't really know. So it was really fun, like interacting with people that I didn't know. So seriously, one of my favorite classes. I also had a really good professor. She was she was really easy in the sense that as long as you participated and like did your stuff, it didn't matter how well you did it, as long as you tried and put effort into the class, it would end up with an A. And there was not a lot of reading, right? I think that's why I enjoyed this class so much. A really nice humanities to kind of like relax. I 100% recommend this class, recommend this professor like no other. Like I said, this class is very participation based. Participation was mandatory and a huge chunk of the grade. Get to class and you'll do fine. Exams, we didn't have exams, we didn't have final exams, so it was very project based. Also, I think one of the reasons that I really enjoyed this class is because it reminded me a little bit about high school. In the sense that it was a smaller class, there was only about 20, 25, 30 maybe students in the class and we met regularly so I felt like I knew everyone in the class and it felt like it, it was a real class. It wasn't like a lecture where there was 300 people in the hall and there was one professor that that didn't even like know your name and my professor knew everyone in the class and it was very one-on-one. -on -one. It was very intimate and all of our classmates knew each other. The table that I sat with, I love all of them. Swabu, Shashank, and Shruta. I love love them. It was really nice getting a chance to kind of like go to class and sit with your friends and talk about movies and Netflix documentaries and podcasts and all this. It was it was it was great. I loved it. On the contrary, I hated my EAS 1601 class with Professor Michael Porter and Professor Christopher Reinhardt. I did not enjoy this class one bit. I took this class, you would think environmental science was going to be an easy class and it was habitable planet and I love anything like planet-based astronomy, the sky, the stars, outer space. I love that. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Like I went into this class and I was like I'm so excited to learn about outer space and aliens and all of this. The class was really interesting. I will give it that. However, you gotta be in the class and I'll tell you why. The grading calculations of this was you have a lab component, you have an exam component, and then you have a homework component. I did fairly well on these two components and then comes the homework. Oh boy, oh boy. This was on a platform called Argos. It was, oh, bro, I get so heated and so passionate when I talk about how my hatred for this platform it was so bad each week we were assigned between like two to four Argos assignments and each one had like 30 questions in which you had to it was like simulation based and you had a week to finish it problem with this was that you needed to finish one question to move on to the next and so sometimes the questions would be so impossible because it's simulation based and so there were lab components where you had to fill in numbers and diagram this 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 that. and sometimes the computer just wouldn't check it i don't know I, I don't know what was wrong with it but sometimes it just would not let you move on oh my goodness there were times that i would i've stayed up until like 2 3 a.m working on this i and i wasn't able to complete it it got to a point where i was like okay you know what i'm just if i can't do it i'll try if i can't do it i can't do it i'm not there's no point in like staying up so late on a class that's not even major related like what am i going to do with environmental science you know i took this class because i thought it was going to be fun and i thought i was going to like it but if it's causing stress at the end of the day like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mm -mm. so i ended up doing that and so my homework grade ended up dropping my grade all the way down to a b and i tried arguing for it and the professor just like did not CS majors have to take two consecutive lab sciences. Since I took an AP Environmental Science in high school, this is why I had to take 1601. Do not recommend this class. I have spent 
hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on this class if i had not spent hours and hours and hours on this class i would have been a cs data structures and algorithms god but i wasn't able to because i spent so much time on this class it was a four credit hour class and the lab oh my god don't even get me started on the lab lab i had on Thursdays 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. I would go into the class and it would be nice and sunny I would leave the class it would be nighttime my stomach grumbling because you can't really eat before because who's eating dinner at like 5 p.m. I was so hungry by the end of it the labs they took the whole three hour block period I just hated everything about that class another tip actually I'm gonna let you in on a little something so this class was on Thursday evening 6 to 9 most if not all club meetings happen Thursday at 7 p.m. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Thursday, 8 p.m. Every single organization, every single club that I wanted to be in had club meetings on these evenings. And I got so irritated because I was like, this is a mandatory lab that my grade depends on. But then I also want to be involved in my community. So what do I choose? There have been times that I have skip the lab and i went to like starbucks chains for example if it was organizations that i really cared about then i would skip it don't like this class hated this class with my guts and then moving on to my last class was APPH 1040 with professor sasha mcverse it was a health class like it is what it is my attendance in this class was mandatory i know there were two different types of classes for 1040 itself my professor was mandatory attendance but we had very few assignments and then the other class was very assignment based and then but they didn't have to go to class at the end of the day it's how how hard can it be this was a very light class i don't know what else to go into other than you had a couple of assignments here and there not really actually overall my biggest takeaways from my first semester class wise is most freshman classes are very large lecture classes and so it's it's very hard to get close with your professor or even like know your professor at all. I think it's really important to make friends in all your classes because they can help you and that help can go a long way. Now I do want to say the classes here at Tech are definitely no joke. They are very demanding but you do end up learning a lot and, and I guess everything depends on your professor. How your academic career is going to go fully depends on your professor but it's also up to you to stay on top of your homework set aside time for studying be proactive in learning and you definitely will end up learning a lot whether it's academic content or just learning how to learn which also is important too for the workforce or whatever you want to do after college thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you can always let me know down below and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Hopefully this video helped. If you're a prospective student, maybe some classes that you could take as a freshman, please, 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 please subscribe and I'll be back with more videos. See you. Bye.